So Rick Santorum took a job as the CEO of uh, the Christian film company Echo Light Studios. And he's been going around promoting his new movie. And he has a theory that he'd like to share with you about who is really in control of Hollywood. This is, this is a tough business. This is a, uh, a, you know, something that we're stepping out. And the devil, for a long, long time, has had this, these screens for his playground. And he isn't going to give it up easily. And so I ask for your prayers for me, for our company, for TBN, for all of those who are involved in the Christmas candle. No, but imagine that were true. Of all the things the devil could do, I mean, he's the devil, right? I mean, he could just... If he wants to be an ass, he could just directly give people cancer, make a hurricane destroy their house, torture them, scare them, flat out kill them. But no, according to Rick Santorum, the devil, the devil, who of course obviously exists. I love how that's, that's settled. In the mind of Rick Santorum and evangelical Christians, there's not even like a discussion about that. It's like, no, 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 of course, the devil exists. And not only does the devil exist, the devil <laughs> runs Hollywood runs Hollywood. But can you imagine? <laughs> Have we released the new Final Destination 16 movie yet? <laughs> How about Fast and the Furious 12? Ha, ah, yes. Why would the devil care about people making movies or acting? And it's not like, I mean, of course there's, uh, you know, scary movies, but <laughs> Rick Santorum's on, he's not even saying like, hey, the devil's only in the scary movies. He's saying, no, no, it runs all, all of Hollywood. So really, uh, did he have something to do with that uh, movie about Muhammad Ali that Will Smith was in? Or any of Denzel Washington's awesome movies? What, was uh, the devil the director of those movies? Or was he a, did he do a cameo? Was he an actual actor? No, but this is what I mean, man. With people like Rick Santorum, they make claims as, like, as if it's a matter of fact, right? But then when you push back on them and say, well, that doesn't seem true, or that seems kind of crazy, all of a sudden he'll pivot and say, how dare you attack my faith? And, uh, uh, you're, this is anti-Christian, you're a bigot for doing it. No, 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 you are making an empirical claim of fact about how fucking Satan runs Hollywood, and then you would attack us when we point out that that's a little off base and you probably made that up? Not even probably. Why am I even entertaining this moron, this lunatic? Of course Satan doesn't run uh, Hollywood. Satan, the devil, whatever you want to call it, doesn't exist. It's a fucking fairy tale like the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus. Can you grow up? Can you grow up? It's these people that are holding back our society because these are the guys who want to fight at every turn to inject their religion in the school classroom, uh, who want to make it run your life, want to replace the the Bill of Rights with the Ten Commandments, as Mike Huckabee literally advocated for one of the times that he was running for president. No, these guys are affecting our quality of life in such a horrible way. How can we ever get breakthroughs in science and technology when Rick Santorum exists and is running around saying shit like this?